हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दर्स ऑफ ऑटोमोटिव मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी माई सेल्फ विमल सलोत फ्रॉम एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन डायग्राम हॉट रोलिंग एंड कोल्ड रोलिंग प्रोसेस फ्रॉम द चैप्टर फॉर्मिंग एंड शेपिंग so let us first understand what is metal forming metal forming is a one kind of manufacturing process in which desired shape and size of the product is obtained by plastic deformation of the metal deformation means change in shape and size now there are two types of the deformation that is elastic deformation and plastic deformation what is elastic deformation so when we apply external force on the material there will be change in shape and size of the material but when we remove the external force it will regain its original shape and size that is known as elastic deformation but in case of plastic deformation when we apply the external force on the material it will change in shape and size and if we remove the external force it will not regain its original shape and size that is known as plastic deformation it means there will be permanent change in shape and size of the product so desirable properties should be high ductility and malleability and it should have low in strength for metal forming process let us understand the concept in detail with stress strain diagram here you can notice that up to p point stress is directly proportional to the strain and first of all it was noticed by robert hook it is also known as hook's law and if we remove the proportionality then k is the constant which is known as young's modulus e point is elastic limit so up to e point there will be elastic deformation y point is the yield point of the material so it is the maximum elastic strength up to which we can apply the external force to have the material within elastic limit further if we increase the stress beyond yield point there will be plastic deformation so there will be permanent change in shape and size now let's see classification of metal forming processes so broadly it is classified in two categories that is bulk deformation process it is also known as bdp bulk deformation processes and sheet metal working processes further there are sub types of bulk deformation processes like rolling forging extrusion wire drawing and sheet metal working process sub types are stretching bending drawing or dip drawing or cup drawing and shearing processes and there are some miscellaneous processes so in case of bdp bulk deformation process massive plastic deformation or massive changes takes place in the crystalline structure of a material the cross section of the workpiece changes or it is reduced without the change of the volume input material may be in the form of ingot bloom or billet in case of sheet metal forming process there is no significant change in the thickness of a sheet but the, these processes are mostly cold working processes according to working temperature the processes are classified in two types that is hot working process and cold working process 
so before knowing that you should be aware with recrystallization under the action of force and heat when the atoms reach at a certain energy level the new crystals or grains start to form which are known which is known as a recrystallization so recrystallization is the state of the metal during which new grain formation takes place so there are two types of process as per working temperature that is hot working process in case of hot working process it is carried out at above recrystallization temperature and another is cold working process cold working processes are carried out at room temperature or it may be above room temperature but always it may be below the recrystallization temperature now let's compare hot working and cold working processes all the metal forming processes it may be hot working process or it may be cold working process so let's see the comparison between the two processes in case of hot working process the temperature is always above recrystallization temperature of the metal and in case of cold working process the working temperature it may be at room temperature or it may be above room temperature but always the temperature will be below the recrystallization temperature of the metal residual stresses are not developed and they are relieved in case of hot working processes but in case of cold working processes the chances are more to develop the residual stresses required stress for hot working process is less but for cold working process more stress is required grain structure is refined at higher temperature but in case of cold working process there is a chance of dist distortion of the grain structure hardening no hardening takes place at hot working process but in case of cold working process work may be hardened about surface finish as hot working process it is performed at higher temperature always there is a chance of oxidation or scale formation so it may result in poor surface finish but in case of cold working process it is at room temperature or it is below recrystallization temperature so better surface finishing can be achieved dimensional accuracy cannot be obtained in case of hot working process but for cold working process superior dimensional accuracy can be obtained now raw material for the rolling process first we will discuss rolling process we have seen that in case of bdp the first type of the metal forming process is rolling so we are going to discuss rolling process in detail so it is a raw material for the rolling process it is known as ingot so ingot is larger in cross section it may be in a rectangular shape so the metal which is obtained from the metal melting furnace it may be in the form of the ingot further ingots are reduced to slab bloom and billet slab is having rectangular cross section bloom may be having rectangular or it may also have uh, square in cross section but billet is in a square in cross section and its dimension or size is less as compared to bloom bloom can be further processed into structural shape like c shaped channel or i shaped channel or railroad type channels slab can be further constructed into sheet or it may be in the form of the coil billets can be further reduced to bar or rod so size wise ingot has higher cross section higher size as compared to billet billet is the 
material which will be having the smallest size in cross section so ingot then slab then bloom and final product may be billet now let's see hot rolling process so in case of hot rolling process the raw material is rolled in between two rolls which are rot rotating in opposite direction to each other here in this diagram you can see upper roll is rolled in anti clockwise direction lower roll is rolling in clockwise direction it is the direction of the feed so it is the original grain structure and the raw material is passed between two continuously rotating rolls so by squeezing action grain structure or grains are elongated and when it comes out from this two rolls it may be having higher velocity so at a higher temperature new crystals or new grains will takes place and the metal will be deformed cold rolling process is similar in construction and working principle but the product which is obtained by hot rolling process is further fed in between two rolls and working temperature is at room temperature but below the recrystallization temperature so further grain structure is refined and better surface finishing can be achieved in case of cold rolling processes there are some types of rolling mill like two high rolling mill three high rolling mill four high rolling mill tandem rolling mill cluster rolling mill planetary rolling mill and universal rolling mill so in case of two high rolling mill two rolls are placed directly one over another and both of these rolls are rotating in opposite direction to each other the direction of rotation is always remains fixed and it cannot be reversed but there are some two high rolling mills in which the provision is there so that we can reverse the direction of rotation they are known as two high reversing mill so both of these rolls are always rotating in opposite direction to each other in case of three high rolling mill it consists of three rolls the working roll is intermediate roll and the upper roll and lower roll both the rolls are rotating in the same direction you can see here upper roll is rotating in clockwise direction and lower roll is also rotating in clockwise direction but this intermediate roll is rotating in anti clockwise direction so workpiece is fed in between upper roll and lower roll in one direction and in in a reverse direction it will be fed between the intermediate roll and lower roll so it may result in the high production rate next type of mill is four high rolling mill and it consists of four rolls working rolls are smaller in size and they are rotating in opposite direction to each other both the working rolls are supported by larger size of the backup rolls so here these are the backup rolls and you can notice that size of the backup rolls are larger and it is helpful to prevent the deflection of the working roll so workpiece is fed in between working rolls and its cross section will be reduced so its final product it may be hot rolled or cold rolled sheets and plates which can be obtained as a final product through the four i rolling mill tandem rolling mill consist of more than one stand of four rolls we have seen that in case of four high rolling mill there are four rolls 
two working roles and two backup roles. So, in case of tandem rolling wheel, it consists of more than two or three stands which are arranged parallelly to each other as you can see here in this diagram. So, all these upper roles and lower roles are the backup roles and the working roles are smaller in size but all the working roles are rotating in opposite direction to each other. So, continuously the workpiece is fed in between first then second stand and then the third stand. So, its diameter will be reducing or its cross section will be reducing in a successive stages. Next type of rolling mill is a planetary rolling mill. In case of planetary rolling mill, it consists of numbers of working rolls. Here you can see in this diagram, there are numbers of working rolls on both the sides, upper side and lower side and they are supported by large size backup rolls. So, here it is a large size backup rolls and all the working rolls are smaller in size always they will be supported by the backup rolls. So, the it will be helpful to prevent the deflection of the working rolls. Next type of the mill is universal rolling mill. In case of universal rolling mill, it consists of horizontally placed rolls and at the one end or at the both of the end, it may consist vertical rolls also. So, how it works? Suppose we consider this product as input material, then its cross section will be reduced. This cross section will be reduced by the horizontal rolls and these are the sides. So, sides of this product may be finished by the help of these vertical rolls. So, universal rolling mill serves two purpose to reduce the cross section as well as it also finishes the sides or gives the desired shape to the side sides of the product. So, we have seen detailed classification of metal forming processes, basic concept of metal forming process, Hooke's law, stress strain diagram, hot working process, cold working process, what is the difference or comparison between hot working process and cold working process and different types of the rolling mills. Thank you for watching.